Throughout the state of Minnesota, over 500 teams begin the quest tonight. The ultimate goal, a six-game winning streak and a state championship. Chisago Lakes and Totino Grace meet here in Fridley for the Section 4, Class 4A quarterfinal. For the winner tonight, it's a matchup with Spring Lake Park. The number one seed, the Panthers get the first round by in this year, the first of six class football in Minnesota. And the Panthers are rated number one in the state. The final Associated Press poll has Spring Lake Park rated first, another Section 4 team, North St. Paul, 17th in the most recent ratings. If Chisago Lakes is going to pull off the upset, they're going to have to be able to stop the Eagles' big gun, and that's Brian Hopkins, a fine running back in his third season for the Eagles. And you look at some of the numbers that he has compiled throughout his career, 51 touchdowns in a three-year career. Steve Varley joins me tonight, and Steve... This is the man for the Eagles. If he has a big night tonight, it's going to be tough for the the Wildcats to stop them. No, you're exactly right. Brian Hopkins is the full package. He's very ex extremely fast and big. He's a very physical runner. As you say, 51 touchdowns. Once he gets near the goal line, he runs right to it, and he just is always leaning forward getting the extra yard. Just a great back. The Eagles have had some great backs over the years here at Totino Grace, but Coach Dave Niggins said flat out, this is the best we've had. You, can, you can't argue with those kind of numbers, the 2,500 yards, and this year in just six games, 674 yards and 18 scores. No, I started a couple games late, came back real strong, averaging over 100 yards, 112 in the year, he, or, uh, per game, excuse me. He is just extremely fast. He hits the hole very well, and in this wing T-type offense, he reads his blocks well and gets up the field and is able to make the cut for the score. Six seasons in a row. If they're going to make it seven in a row, they have a tall task at hand. That's a win tonight and then another win Saturday against the state's number one ranked team but the Eagles have been playing their best football of the year as of late working on a four game winning streak and here's Brian Hopkins with the opening kick he gets to the outside and has a good field position for the Eagles out across the 40 Dave Niggin on the sidelines hoping his team can reach the state tournament for the third time in four years Hopkins off the right side breaks a couple of tackles Hopkins into the secondary could go all the way one man to beat, and he beats him up the sideline. Touchdown, Eagles, on the first offensive snap. A 60-yard run by Brian Hopkins. Well, we're not even able to get the uh, defensive starters for Chisago, and they're down 6 nothing. His 52nd career touchdown, his 19th here in 1997. Well, that's it. You watch it again. Both the guards, they do a little misdirection there. The linebacker for Chisago must be keying on those linebackers. They false read on the left side, and Hopkins just takes it there and just an excellent cutback once he got in the second. Stuck for the third down stop. The kick away, Hopkins from his 21. A good move to start it, and he's out across the 30 to the 33-yard line with 8.24 remaining in the first quarter. The Eagles will... Take to the offensive for the second time. Back to what's given to you from the defense versus just think about the play that you are running. First catch of the season for Andrew Hall. Here they give to Hopkins up the middle, breaks a tackle, he's still loose. And finally dragged down, but not before he reaches the 34-yard line. He's running through this Wildcat defense as if they're non-existent. That time defensive end Nick Johnson finally tracked him down. And that was 20 yards downfield. Well, Brian Hopkins certainly possesses those kind of talents. And, he, you know, that's why he in, missed the first two games this year, but still is a leader in, in the conference in, in rushing statistics and in touchdowns because he has this ability to make people miss. So as they go the opposite way with either Hopkins or Thornton. Here's Hopkins sweeping right into the secondary, and he'll have another first down as he reaches the Wildcat five-yard line. For Hopkins, 98 yards already on the ground. Quick pitch, Hopkins trying to get to the outside. He does, turns it back in for a touchdown. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Brian Hopkins with another touchdown run, and a lot of nice individual effort there. He had to do a little dancing, and make a couple of guys miss. Uh, he is just such a good player that sooner or later you figured that they would get things cranked up. This time it's Post who breaks loose into the secondary and has a first down at the Eagle 34 yard line. A gain of 25 for Ben Post, his first run of the night. Third and goal. Johnson straight ahead. 
for the touchdown. The two yard touchdown run. And the Wildcats are on the board. That's when you were here, right, Anthony? I don't know that I was even old enough to think about football. Banks explodes up the middle and is gone for the touchdown. Nearly untouched, 70 yards for the score. The second touchdown run of the year for Alex Banks. And that's a tremendous way to answer a touchdown by Sasago is to break off a big play like that. And Banks did a fine job as he exploded through the hole that time and no one was gonna catch him once he saw the, the end zone. <laughs> Third and seven, Wahatka keeps it on the option and Wahatka's into the secondary. Wahatka has one man to beat and beats him. Caught from behind at the two yard line. A dozen touchdowns rushing, 14 scores overall. Johnson dives in for the touchdown. His second touchdown run of the night. And the Wildcats have carved the lead down to eight to 21-13 with the extra point coming. It's Hopkins into the secondary and Hopkins could go all the way again. He will, touchdown Brian Hopkins. <laughs> A 68-yard <laughs> touchdown run, his third of the night and his 21st of the year. Well, <laughs> the track beat continues. No, and this is something that's just deflating for Sasago. They've, they've done a good job to come back. And Tino Grace, th we've seen three different plays go for touchdowns. It's not the same play over and over and over again to get to stop. It's, they're different plays all the time. And the Eagle lead is 13 at 27 to 14. And Hopkins has every right to catch his breath over on the sidelines. 173 yards rushing already for the Eagle running back on only six carries. He's averaging nearly 30 per attempt. Well, this is his great vision, Mark, isn't it, on the yeah. open field? <clears throat> uh, spectacular run. And Banks on the backside. Eagles thought they may use him a little bit tonight against that option. Hopkins on the return from his own 49-yard line, working his way through traffic, finally caught from behind, but it's a 15-yard return and a first down at the 36-yard line. When well, you get that sense that he could break it at any time tonight, you just have that feeling whenever he gets the ball. Heads right upfield, he knows what he has to do. It's a third down. He's not skittish with the ball as he did last year a couple times. And then he might as well just give the ball back to Hopkins. And Hopkins stopped just short of the goal line here. It's a gain of about 19. It'll be first and goal from the one yard line. Seven of the highest 20 rushing games in state history have occurred this season. Hopkins takes this one in for the score. Not a bad first half of work for Hopkins. His fourth touchdown of the game. Just being a one-yard run there kind of hurt the average. Yeah. <laughs> Johnson's the single setback here on third and ten. Eagles show blitz. Wahatka down the line. He'll keep it on the option. Breaks one tackle. He's into the secondary. Wahatka with a first down and a lot more. He reaches the Eagle 36-yard line. Tonight, Wahatka's 0 for 1. Sprint out to the right, throws oh. caught by Magnuson, and Magnuson will score! Touchdown Wildcats, and it's 34 to 20. A 37 yard touchdown pass, the fourth touchdown pass of the year for Wahatka. And even though he's not asked to throw very often, Showed some arm strength here. He wobbles one down the middle and it is caught for the touchdown. The Eagles come back and hit the big play of their own and now lead it 40 to 21. Dan Keenan on the receiving end, his first touchdown catch of the year. And the Eagles may have just deflated the Wildcats who had fought hard to get within two scores. Now it's back to a three touchdown lead.
So the Wildcats forced to punt it and put it in the hands of Hopkins once more. He takes it from the 42-yard line. Couple of nice moves, breaks a tackle, Hopkins up the sideline, and finally ridden out of bounds by Nick Johnson. And why are you kicking to him? Well, it's, I mean, unless it's just a mix-up with, with, with the kids not doing what the scheme is, but well, as Anthony says, you're netting I mean, a half yard in the punt, you might as well just go for it every day. Well, remember when Hopkins was a sophomore, nine touchdowns That's and 41 true. rushing attempts. Instant. Here's Hopkins sweeping left, cuts it back into the secondary for the touchdown. Hopkins goes 13 for the score, his fifth rushing touchdown of the night, and the Eagles now lead it 47 to 21. Great individual effort as he got across the line of scrimmage here, and as Steve said earlier tonight, he has fabulous vision. <laughs> Well, as Anthony said before the game started, you're going to have to throw the ball out. <laughs> Johnson with a first down carry inside the Eagle 10 and down to the 9-yard line. It's a gain of 14. Wildcats in four-down territory here. They face third and goal from the four. Wahatka pitches to Itzen, and Itzen dives in for the touchdown. A four-yard touchdown run for Nick Itzen. And the Wildcats take a bite out of the Eagle lead. It's now 48-27. Thorvig rolling right, wants to throw downfield. It's caught by Hall, who's knocked out of bounds at the 31-yard line. The progress he's made from junior to senior he looks much more poised back there. Stitch straight ahead, has room into the secondary and barrels to the 10-yard line. Keenan is wide to the right. Thorvig on the bootleg, rolling out, throws over the middle, caught by Hall, who has the first down down to the four-yard line. Made that run during his sophomore season. Eagles reached the state semifinals in the Metrodome that year. Here, Lindstroth sweeps right and goes in for the touchdown from two yards out. His second touchdown of the year, and the Eagles now lead it 54-27. to about 16 points a night during the regular season. Newman is the deep man for the Eagles. He takes it on the run, starts up the right sideline, and Newman has the Eagles in good field position once more as they're inside the Wildcat 30-yard line at the 27. 6.54 remaining, and the Eagles in business once more. Hopkins the story tonight, that probably the final snap, but his running in the first half led the Eagles to a lead, a lead from which the Wildcats could never recover. 214 yards rushing for Hopkins on 10 carries. He scored five touchdowns, and the Eagles will now advance wow. to the section semifinals in search of their seventh straight section final appearance they must beat the number one ranked team in the state to get it. They'll face Spring Lake Park at Spring Lake Park on Saturday night.